Steve Nuno. And just like that, the ZL is back. It feels like we've had no rest at all from round one into round two. Just, uh, uh, just getting the tail end of a lackluster warm up done. I'm not feeling it at all. I really need to get my head in the game though because six minutes to go and uh, that's our course through the pool. Which, um, Obviously starts at the pens and we have to turn right to climb up the hill as a lead-in to actually get on to the course itself. There's going to be massive splits for sure at that point. Then it's uh, going to be a fast, out, a fast downhill. Heading towards... Oh, getting the right gear. Heading towards the aqueduct. Then towards Pavi, super super flat, very little rollers, heading back towards the marina, and then we've got the climb to finish off, so do the climb twice, once is the lead in, and once at the tail end of the race, so yeah, it's going to be, uh, <laughs> let's not beat about the bush, it's going to be awful. <clears throat> Right, let's uh, end workout. Let's get in the pens. Here we go. I'm gonna fix the bike as well. I just, I don't feel like it's on the on the trainer right. So, give me a sec. I think that feels better. I'm unsure. I'm always unsure, to be fair. That's the problem with having a trainer that you take up and down every time you want to use it. Anyway, let's uh, turn Spotify off. Let's get some music on. Which actually, I think the last time I used this, I. Not recording the music, so oh, oh. we want to do that, do we? Whoops, easy, right? Music, 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 music. Where is music? There it is. Monitor only, yeah. We want to change that. You don't want to listen to me talking the whole time. Yeah, that bike doesn't feel right. One sec. <sighs> I think we've got it now. Let's hope so anyway. Oh, right, let's see. Can it be? Join the chat. Yep, that's working. Awesome. Right. So, yeah. That's a good start. Can't even get my pedals in. Minute I have to go out the pen, turn right, smash it up this 
fucking hell. <laughs> Would be a help to get started out the pain. <clears throat> so 19.6 we've got as a battery. Honestly, I guarantee you that's going to be pretty well depleted by the time we get to the top of this climb, which is ridiculous because it's only the leading. Only the leading. Right. I feel like I'm in totally the wrong position today. Anyway, that's enough moaning. Let's just crack on, eh? Feel free to jump in the chat. Tell me to shut up. Tell me to get a move on. All that stuff. It's all good. Lost my mouse. Kind of neat. Okay, let's get moving. Here we go. Only a bump compared to what we're about to do. Stringing out and splitting already. Thank you. 
Insane. That's just the leading. Still 22k to go. Let's start giving some ride ons, eh? Let's just drop a wee message in the chat as well. Everyone wound up. Insane. We came very, very close to getting a breakthrough on X there. 
Top left, the MPA. I was pushing just over 400 at the end. And um, the MPA was dropping fast, south of 800. So those two cross, get yourself a breakthrough. Now, hopefully, we can stick. Stick in the wheels. And then, um, oops, oops, oh no, that's the wrong thing, hopefully we can stick in the wheels and get some, uh, get some recovery, there's uh, Dean, he's in this front group with me, John's, uh, John Split, he's in the second group, I'm not sure where the others are just now because I don't know. They were there. Their data never showed up. Very odd. Maybe I didn't save them. But anyway, we've got a relatively flat bit. Then we've got sort of 500 meters kicker into the aqueduct. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like much, but it really, really saps the energy out of the legs. John's in this group here. So let's see who we got. We've got one, two, three. Three Herd, two from KRT, two from Swedish Lifters, two from whoever that blue and red is. No, one, two, three. They've got all five. Oh man. I don't know what team that is, but that could be like the Danish team in round one. They've got five riders here in the front group. Pretty much what the Danish team did. And they wiped the floor with everyone. Every single race. So, going on nothing other than the fact they've got all five riders here. I'm suggesting that that is indeed a team to watch out for. Round one we finished, I think six. So slap bang, slap bang, mid table. It would be good if we could improve on that this round. We'll see. Twists and turns over there. The ramp starts well before it. Like a kind of here. Lighting up in the dark. You make it right. I forgot how to be percent. It's so classic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words Big squeeze to move up We don't want to be fighting for position on the climb We want to always be near the front if we can That in itself is going to be a challenge today for sure
Now I know why it never worked out before. I know it would always turn out bad, so bad. But every time we start a fight, we always stop in time. We both know how to be gentle, never cross the line. I feel cold when you're around, like nothing. Of course, we've got faster section here. Okay, so that's really, really split things up. I am bust. Still got 16k, a few rollers, quite a lot of flat, and then that initial climb again.
Are we actually catching that group or I don't know. I'm honestly at this point 14.4 K still to go. Some rollers to come. Some cobbles. And of course that climb at the end. I'm happy just to knock this pace off and cruise along. Know that we're gonna finish. Somewhere around about 20th to 30th. I have no interest or capacity to catch that group in front and I'm hoping that this group of six other riders feel the same. Although I'm not sure because I do think we're catching but then that group could have slowed. Definitely pushing to catch now. I mean, there's still 12k to go. We could have just carried on at the same speed, and we probably still would have caught them. Three or four k down the road. <laughs> I'm just done. Utterly, utterly done.
Don't let that W balance and the NPA figure fool you. I am goosed. Well and truly. Unless there's anyone in this group that is truly, and I mean truly suffering as much as I am, leading towards this final climb. I'm going to be out the back in seconds. Hanging on for dear life so that the group's behind don't catch me. There's already someone from her that's only, no oh sorry, PCH, only 13 seconds behind me. That's not a lot when you get to this climb. I wish I could just go at this pace for the next eight kilometers. I'm done. The caffeine's worn off. The carbs are definitely feeling low. got is half a bead on of water and nothing in it. No sugar, no gels. There's the guy, oh my god. Straight through, like, who is this guy? He broke off from the group behind. And then soloed, pretty much, all of the flat section to catch up with us. Like, what the heck? And that is one heck of an effort. Break away from your group and chase down solo the leading pack. I mean, admittedly we did slow down. I mean, look at that, all that balloon. But still, we are pack. He's a solo rider.
We are almost out of flat road. Coming back in towards the marina now. And then we're going to climb again. seconds is what I've got on the group behind that is uh, that's not a lot of time No chance. I've got nothing left, Rick. I've been I've been essentially on fumes since the aqueduct. I am really, really, really regretting picking this course for race one. Trying to make it fair, trying to make it exciting, trying to pick up the sandbaggers, but forgetting that for the mere mortals like me, it's effing hard. <laughs> anyway, we stuck with the front group up and over the climb at the lead in, but then that was it, and then we're starting to, starting to lose the pace here. It's all down to Dean for the last effort up this climb. I'm going to do my best to stay in front of John's group. But I am absolutely done in. Especially now that they're going for sprints. Because <laughs> of course it's fastest segment here. I can't put any more power down if I want to at least make a stab at getting up this hill. So I just need to let them go. And hope for the best. Oh man, look at that. Six seconds in a way. This is going to be a very lonely climb. something that's this moment three kilometers of uphill
That group behind. Clearly. I was looking at the wrong group on sauce because that's six seconds and catching. Come on, come through. I want a wheel. I don't go too far. <laughs> There's John. Too fast for my liking, Rick.
I have no idea. No idea what position I came. I know it wasn't 30th. I know I beat somebody to the line, but I mean, look at that. That tells me nothing. Fucking useless. <sighs> anyway, let's see if we can get it to work, eh? Yeah? Probably not. Nah. Useless! Back track, that was just... That was awful. I don't know where... I don't know where Dean finished. He was ahead of me for sure. John unfortunately dropped off in the last, what, 500 metres or so, so I think he was, what, six seconds behind or so, but, um, yeah, that'll do, we'll take that. That's no bad. Oh, God. I have no idea. No idea why we do this, Rick. <laughs> oh, I can barely turn the pedals. This is meant to be off season. Doing lots of long, slow distance and getting ready for next year, but. Last year, eh, last year, last week I stupidly raced three times. I went way over where I should have been in terms of intensity, but in terms of uh, duration on the bike it was only about two and a half hours, and I want to do between six and eight just now. Oh man, that was so hard. Anyway, Rick, thanks very much for popping in the chat. Do you know what? It just it really does make a difference. Makes you push just a little bit more. Sometimes it doesn't work in your favour. I've had uh, Lewis I'm here a few times and he, he just pushes you too hard. Oh, hi boys. <laughs> I guess this is the, this is the coffee stop. Is this the coffee stop? <laughs> oh man. That was 
just ridiculously hard. But yeah, thanks for thanks for bopping in the chat, Rick. It made a difference. Oh, I can oh, I can barely get off the bike. But there we go, there's John. Have a great day, see ya next week. Right, that is me. I am. Um, I'm out here because, as you saw with the uh, finish line there, on ZRL day it takes it takes everything a little while to update. So there's no point waiting for Swift Power to update. There's no point seeing what XR says because we need to save this and get it out into uh, the different programs. But yeah. That's it for me. Hope you enjoyed that. I did. <laughs> oh, I'm done. I'm done. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Keep your hands clean. Look out for your neighbour. And uh, see you soon. Right on.